Hi gang, so this was a topic that I brought up with my group training classes earlier today because what I've noticed is that being in lockdown mode and being at home a lot, using my dance floor a lot more every day, I've started to realize that my body has a lot more aches and pains. And guess what? I realized that I don't have as soft of a so sub flooring as I should, especially for higher impact moves like Highland dancing, right? So right now I'm in my basement and I have a commercial gym rubber flooring which has no additional padding, okay? But then they also have this dance floor, not this foam one, but this dance floor here that I use and it's on top of the rubber floor. And again, no additional padding. Now, Pepper seems to really like it, but it doesn't <laughs> provide any additional support for your joints. So what's happening is day in and day out, now that I'm here a lot more during my lockdown mode, I'm actually putting a lot more stress on my joints and my bones and my muscles. And so I'm starting to really feel it. Um, and that can lead to overuse injuries, right? So you can have shin splints that start to creep up. Heaven forbid, if you keep going with this, you can go into um, stress fractures, things of that nature. Even when I'm wearing my supportive tennis shoes, right? That still doesn't save it. That still didn't help, I still felt it. So my quick remedy for me was I happen to have a whole bunch of these puzzle pieces, they're foam one. I'm sure every dancer or most of us have seen these or even have them and I stuck them underneath my dance floor space. And guess what? Within one day of teaching classes, no aches or pains. And that's what it was, okay? Just day in and day out of higher impact movements on a really hard floor. So my question is to you is, what are you dancing on? Make sure that while we're at home, not able to be in our dance studios that have nice floors that are prepared for that, you know, you wanna make sure that you set up your body to be as safe and healthy as possible while you continue your training while you're stuck at home for now, okay? So check it out, see what ways you can be kinder to your body. You only have one. Let's not ruin it during our lockdown mode while we're trying to stay in shape and keep our stamina up and we're still practicing, okay? If you have any questions or comments, leave your comments below. I'd love to keep hearing from you guys, especially while we're staying, trying to stay connected during this time.